Hello, my 3D printing peeps. Greetings, Creality Sonic Pad users and Clipper users. I am here with the newly released beta of Cura version 5.4.0. There are quite a few new changes and some unexpected updates. However, we are not here to talk about those today. I'm here to talk about the bug with Clipper, where printing through your Sonic Pad or other Clipper device with 5.3.x would create all kinds of bumps and zits and pimples and whatnot along the outer walls. Reverting back to Cura 5.2.2 would instantly alleviate this problem. Cura has released version 5.4, and I'm here to find out if it fixes this problem. Before we do that, here's a quick look at the splash screen when you open 5.4. It talks about updated tree supports, which is quite interesting, and I'm excited to try this. It talks about new and updated tree supports that use less material and print faster. This is the update people have been waiting for that was previously available in the Christmas tree support alpha way back in December, but was not released in the 5.3 versions. Moving along, they've changed the way brims are printed in order for them to be removed more easily. This is great because brims are a great way to assist with all different types of issues when 3D printing. However, sometimes they remove easily and with some models, they can be a pain in the arse. According to Ultimaker, they have now made this easier. Despite a laundry list of fixes and updates, those are the only two things they focus on for this release. However, you can see they've added quite a few things as this right here is the entire list of new features, improvements, and bug fixes. Returning to the point of this video is whether or not I can print this little ball without blobs, zits, and pimples. For all three of these prints, I am using a Creality Ender 5 Plus. Here is what this little ball looked like in 5.3.0 and 5.3.1. Reverting back to 5.2.2, this is what this exact same print looked like. And now, on version 5.4, here's what this print with the same profile looks like. Sadly, it's just as bad. Having printed with 5.2.2, 5.3.1, and 5.4.0, the problem continues to exist between 5.3 and 5.4, and is immediately resolved when using 5.2.2. I can't find any notable difference in the profiles between the three. I open the floor to you guys to see if any of you can identify the cause and come up with a solution. For now, I will continue to print on my Sonic Pad with 5.2.2 and everything else with 5.3 and 5.4.